All right. Uh, I think I already put you in the combat tracker, didn't I? I did not. All right, let me go ahead and add you guys to the combat tracker, and then you can roll your initiatives real quick here. Here we go. You can use the guide at the top. You Well, once you've rolled, you don't need the, the combat tracker open like regular D&D, obviously, but for now. Oh, I got to roll for Hingle. Ben, you got yours coming? Yeah. Remember, the actual number doesn't matter. It's just, you know, except for the initial order that you guys will go in. All right, so Ben will be last. <laughs> We'll start with Ezra. How do I... Can I do that? Uh, well, we'll just do it manually. Uh, 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 Becky, don't click any buttons. We'll just start with uh, with Ezra. Um, oh, okay, cool. I wasn't sure if it would let me do that. It did. Um, I updated things again, too. So, Anyways, uh, the preamble for this mission here is uh, after hearing rumor of long-abandoned castle that hides a great magical weapon for destroying chaos, you were approached by a guide who offered to take you to the ruins. The guide led you down many dark corridors through pitch black halls before ending in a room with three doors. Suddenly the doors slam shut all at once and the guide turns to you and laughs. The witch lord send his, sends his regards, he sneers, as you see his human visage fade away, revealing a ghastly undead knight and glowing on Pale green smoke begins to fill the chamber and you realize to your horror that this was all a trap and that you must escape to the stairway or perish in this forgotten ruin. Um, the smoke is ever present in this place. This is just a note I'm going to tell you guys that you have 20 rounds to find the exit. Uh, at the 20th round, you start taking one uh, one tick of damage each for for every turn thereafter. So eventually, it will become an attrition where you you can't survive. So you do have to. Your goal is to essentially try to get out of here as quick as possible. Except, of course, there's a lot of things between you and the stairs to escape the place. So, all right, that's it. It is Fox. It is your turn. Okay, oh, so sorry. is the oh, guy uh, in the me... room? He is in the room. I forget. Yeah, that, that was when I said if you see something you're not supposed to see, ah. it's that the guy is in the room with you. And <laughs> I had him hidden so that you wouldn't see him at first. Uh, he is in the room there. It's an enemy type you guys haven't seen yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my crossbow. Okay. Uh, his armor is three. All right, two skulls. Uh, so he didn't roll any fence, but you shoot the arrow or the, the the crossbow bolt at him, and it disappears as soon as it hits the kind of glowing aura that surrounds his armor. Doesn't seem like it took any damage. Okay. Uh, black shields or skulls. Also. You got a white shield, not a black. Shield. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't remember the difference at the moment. Okay. Uh, well, the black uh, ones look like a like a rabbit kind of, or fangs. They look to me, they look more like a snake, but a lot of people think they look like rabbit. Oh, that was probably because it was upside down. Huh? I bet the fangs would look like ears. Uh, yeah, for your sleeping crossbow, let me look here quick. Uh, oops, it is. Uh, treat any black shields as if they're skulls. Yeah, so that's still that's two white or uh, sorry, two skulls and a white shield. I'll go ahead and tell you though that even if the last one was a skull, even if it was a black shield or a skull, it still wouldn't have made any difference. Okay. This guy, there, this is a special enemy you guys haven't seen yet. You don't so know why. So attacks might not work on it. It seems like so far, at least, you don't know. Well, basically, here, so I'll go ahead and tell it to you this way. At least how it's supposed to work is if you guys don't figure it out in the first round, I'm supposed to tell you before the second round. So don't worry, you're not going to be stuck in here and end up dying because you can't figure out what the trick is. But this guy has a, this this kind of enemy has a special trick to him. Okay. All right. Uh, then uh, you're not going to move or anything else. No. Nope. All right, then that'll take us to Big D. Uh, right. So, oh wait, I actually have to roll movement first. Hang on. Let's see if I can even get there. Oh no. Well, yep. Yes, I can. <laughs> Two, and I'm just gonna swing. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't really even need to roll his dice, but it does. It does the same thing. Uh, your rapier, <laughs> I think, or your longsword, actually. Uh, that you swing at him uh, as soon as it uh, makes contact with the glowing armor, the, the glow, uh, the aura that's surrounding him, uh, it does not appear to do anything. Oh, that was the wrong... I, I think I clicked the wrong arrow. There we go. All right. Uh, nothing else then, Becky? Nope. That was movement and action. All right. Uh, ben, Hingle. Let me give you ownership for Hangle real quick, too. There you go. All right, you should have ownership of him now. I think you should be able to move him. Yeah, 
Yep, there it goes. It's just lagging. Yeah, it takes a second for the permissions to update. All right. Um, let's try something. Uh, All right, that's what I'm going to try. Uh, is I'm going to just actually swing right in front of me. So, like, not at, well, as close to him as I can, but without hitting him, I guess you could say. So, like, you know, the square in front of me. Um, oh, hang nothing, on, I didn't roll yet. It doesn't nothing, matter. Okay. No, nothing happens, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to click the arrow when it's next turn, oh, guys. God. It's the one on the right side of the top thing. Should be further to the right, I think. Well, it depends on where your cursor is, G, but what I can see, it should be if when you mouse up there, you guys are seeing the arrows, right? Uh it no. was when it was my turn, but it's not for him for Hangle. Oh, okay, it's because I just gave you ownership. Alright, I'll click next for you, Ben. Uh well actually it's it's your turn now. Uh oh, go I ahead and take now. Okay, it, yeah, maybe it just takes a second. I just clicked it for for oh, you know what it yeah. So it probably still wasn't there for Hingle. So after your turn, just refresh the page and it should give you ownership for Hingle correctly. Okay. It just the module hasn't updated yet as all because you gotta refresh again. Alright, um well for my actual turn I'm just going to uh, wait it out, I guess. Just okay. Defend. <laughs> Alright. All right. So <laughs> that brings it to yeah, that's fine. That brings it to his turn. Um, he is going to, let's see, what are, uh, do, 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 uh, oh, he doesn't have any special attacks. Okay. All right. So he is going to, uh, step into the corner here and attack Bay D with four dice, uh, three skulls, Becky. All right. We have what, four defense. All right. So you take one, uh, he is no. undead. All, uh, this entire floor is undead. So keep that Not up. chaos. They're not chaos. They're 100% undead, all of them. Okay. The whole floor. Uh, oh, no. That's just defending against chaos, so never mind. All right, so it's one, so you take two damage. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then this is the special. This is what the card would be. Uh, it is desecrated armor. The revenant is invulnerable to all damage until it has been healed for at least one body point by the heroes. For example, attacking with a potion of healing or casting healing magic, and then after this, the, the revenant can be damaged by normal means. So you don't actually need to... To you know, he like he's not taking any damage yet. Heal just basically removes the the aura, and then it can be hurt normally. Make sense? Yep. yep. All right, that brings us back to Fox. Is that two damage or one? Uh, well, he did three. And I've got. Oh, two sorry, sorry. God damn. I was looking. Yeah, it's one damage. Sorry. I was <laughs> I was looking at the right? skulls. Yeah. <laughs> been a while. It's been forty-one days. Was the last time we played Hero Quest, so it took me it took me a minute there. Based on the log here. Which one, Fox? Uh, so we either have to throw a healing potion on it or heal it? Yeah, so um, I don't want to spoil anything else coming up. Basically, there there are uh, there's other options too, but for now, what you have is healing magic or or hit him with a potion, which doesn't take an attack roll. You literally just, it would just take your, well, it would take your turn, yes, but you don't need to roll for it. It'll take your attack. But not actually any, uh, you know, no, no possibility of missing or anything. Okay, so I guess I'll throw my healing potion on it. Okay. All right, then, uh, as of. Yeah, that? before she does that, I can't use any of my 10 points on him, can I? Yeah, you He's could. Not... Yep, you could. Okay, then do you want to save your potion? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's when you when you mentioned that that's the one that you wanted to bring. I, I was kind of like, well, that might be a good idea. So, uh, okay, so I'll just skip. Okay, all right, then back to BD. All right, then I will use my turn to heal him for one body point. Okay, and then I'm gonna step back one. All right, and that takes us to Hingle. Uh, ben, did you refresh? Yeah, it's not popping back up yet, though. Like the what has it popped back up? Nothing. It's uh, I can see the gray in the little banner on the right side and the little uh, anvil, and that's it. And it doesn't. For how long now? Okay, uh, a couple minutes. Oh, all right. We'll go ahead and do it again. Just tell me what you want Hingle to do. I'll I'll move Hingle and in, in, uh, Jesus for you while you reload if needed. Okay. Uh, then, well, I'm sure. <clears throat> I'm sure I noticed uh, um, Becky throw the potion on there, right? Yeah, Becky healed him uh, for one. Well, basically, Becky did something or that, not that removed the yeah. armor. But yeah, she, she the armor, the uh, glowing uh, uh, aura is gone. Okay. Well, then, I'm going to attack.
attacked him since it looks like he's changed. Okay. I guess that aura was probably his defense. Uh, Hingle, actually, you guys got this, I think, at the end of the last game. Uh, has the, the magical broadsword, uh, has an eerie handle of carved bone. This thing, this spirit blade. Uh, when using it, roll three combat dice to attack, or four combat dice if attacking an undead, which he is. Uh, uh, but it can't attack diagonally, so keep that in mind. Uh, okay. It is four, but he does have to actually be you know, adjacent to. Uh, so he got one skull. Uh, the Revenant has three defense. Uh, did not defend against me, so one point dead. They don't have a ton of hit points either. They're not. They're not too incredibly dangerous. It's. It's more just. I think that they kind of sap your. You know, your healing resources. Um, you know, so if there were a bunch, it would be more risky. But they're not too bad otherwise. All right, is that it for Hingle Denji? Uh, yeah. All right, then back to Jesus. Did it finish reloading? Nope, still doing the same thing. Try bringing up Chrome, or well, what browser are you in right now? Uh, Chrome. Bring up Firefox or Edge Chromium, either one, and connect it that way. Okay. Might be a caching issue. Uh, do you know what you want Jesus to do? Uh, just also going to attack my longsword. You want him to go diagonally? Yeah, if there's enough space for me to get in there. Yeah, there is. Okay. All right, three, uh, one skull. Do you... Hang on. You have something against undeads, don't you? Yeah, uh, if it's undead, I think black skulls uh, work in my favor both ways, I think, when it's undead. Uh... Defense and offense, spells, when, when defending against undead attacker, they treat black shields rolled as if they were white shields, so only on defense. On defense, okay. Okay, yeah. All right, so one skull, uh, three defense for him. He did not defend. That's another point done. And that is it for your turn, so he gets to attack now. I'm going to remove that, I think. Uh, he is going to swing at Hingle right beside him uh, with his uh, four attack. Uh, three skulls. Hingle has five defense dice. Jeez. Uh, Hingle defended against one, so that's two damage done to Hingle. And that brings us back to Fox. What's Azza doing? Using my crossbow. Okay. Uh, two, uh, wait, black, black shields as skulls, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's three, okay. Uh, then he's got three defense. Uh, none defended, he is dead. Yay. So he's down. Uh, any movement, Fox? Go here. That if your turn. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna click the arrow. Is that working for you? There we go. Yep. Cool. All right. Big D. All right, guys. Are we just gonna fling all the doors open and see which way we're going? I don't think that's the best idea. <laughs> you guys might want to play in a little bit. So, oh, remember, like I said, you guys have uh, tw uh, 20 rounds. So on the 20th round is when you guys start taking damage. You're on round three right now. And, I mean, it's gonna. T it'll. It, if you guys get lucky, you'll make it there before the twentieth round. If you're not, or I can almost assume that you're not going to, you're gonna end up start taking the the undead fog damage. All right, north, east, or west. Let's turn north. Nope. You're moving, Jesus. <laughs> you actually rolled when you rolled for him, or when you rolled, you had him selected too. All right, uh, north, you see a skeleton, a mummy, and a zombie in a small room, no other doors. Um, or, oh, well, no, <laughs> <laughs> you step in through the doorway. Uh, I think I want to move you real quick. And unfortunately, uh, the floor plummets out from beneath you, and you land in a spike trap. Yep. <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, I think that uh, this one is two body points of damage immediately and ending your turn. Uh, <laughs> while in the pit, you can search for treasures or secret doors, but if the pit were a separate, or as if there were a secret room, but every time you do, it'll take one body point of damage. Uh, you can also attack and defend, but doing so with two less combat dice. So basically, you can climb out of it like normal, but searching it is is risky. Mm -hmm. 
I'll go ahead and tell you there aren't any special treasures in the in the spike trap. So you know, you don't if you want to search, go right ahead. But you're not going to find anything. You'll still be rolling on the table, so you could get random loot. But otherwise, you'll just end up hurting yourself. I'm good. All right, Ben, did it finish reload? Did you load up in a different browser? Never bring up the other page. The the browser still. Is it taking that long to lo just to load the other browser? Why well, did? Pop the original one back up so I can get the. Uh, oh, I could have told you the address, dude. The main name network. Actually, it looks like it might be loading. I'm gonna give it a second. Uh, I see you loaded in. It looks. I mean, at least. Actually, it is loading in now. Okay. So and I, that's I back in Chrome. Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you want Hingle to do in the meantime? Um, just follow where uh, Becky went. So she walked in through a doorway and fell into a spike trap, and inside that room are three monsters. So you want him to go in and fight them? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he can try to... I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll move for whichever was most effective for him, but there is a, a mummy, a zombie, and a skeleton, and their strength is that order. So the mummy's the strongest, then the zombie, then the skeleton. Any preference on which one you want him to hit? Mm, smash up the skeleton a little bit. All right. All right. Uh, 2d6... Well, I guess he couldn't roll less than that anyways. Uh, I'm going to move him in and around because he's got enough movement to get over there after stepping on Becky's head. Oh, he can't actually get over there. Uh, yeah, because he can't move diagonally. All right, so just do the skeleton. Uh, no damage. Uh, yeah, no damage done. It's four dice, but he doesn't treat any of them specially, so no damage. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm back in. Okay, it is your turn, G. Your regular oh. Jesus turn. Attack the zombie. Yeah, a, yeah the zombie right in front of me. Yeah. Uh, one defended, so he takes one damage. Uh, he has... How much? Oh, he only has one. He's dead. Uh, right. Then that makes it... Oops. That makes it my guy's turn. Um, for these in here with you... Uh, skeleton's going to attack Hingle uh, for two attack dice. Uh, one, he has five defense. Uh, none defended. He still takes one damage. This is this is off to a not great start, guys. Uh, zombie is going to attack. Uh, you know what? He, or uh, the mummy, rather. He's not smart. He wouldn't necessarily. I mean, he's, you know, these guys have zero intellect. Uh, the regular undeads do. Uh, so we'll try to attack the first one that he can see, which is Jesus. Uh, four or three. Uh, one damage, G. And okay. then you're up, Fox. Or, sorry, what would you got to okay. roll your defense? So roll, roll one, or oh, roll yeah. your defense against him. But you have five. All right, no damage done. That's right. right. Back to Ezra. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a seven, so I moved over here. And then I'm going to uh, aim at the mutant with my crossbow. At the mummy? Yeah, the mummy. Okay. Uh, two, and he's got four defense. Uh, one defended, so one damage. He's got one left. Okay, that's it for me. All right, back to Big D. All right, can I see the mummy from this corner over here? Like, diagonally through the door? Yeah. Right. Yeah, we've, we've ruled before that you can, so... So I'm going to crawl out of this hellhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me go ahead and... I did reveal that, right? Yeah, you guys can see that spike trip now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So now that now that Big D is out of it, you'll have to... Oh, I guess you. Yeah, as long as it's disarmed, then you can get back through. So, right. go ahead. And then I'm going to shoot him. That's just one combat die, right? For your pistol? Your regular pistol? Yeah, because yeah, you don't have the condemnation on right now, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it says in your... Which under start uh, starting stats, I think, right there, right? Uh, do do do. Uh, when. Pistol. Yeah, it, it. I mean, it. I'm, I'm like ninety percent sure it is because they're, they're one of your judgment things makes it two for the for the turn or for the quest, which means it has to be one because it can't be yeah. zero, obviously. Okay. All right. Uh, well, skull. Uh, he's got four defense though. 
And he didn't roll any, so he's dead. <laughs> All right. Probably yep. deafened Ezza there by firing a pistol right next to her head, but... Back to Hingle. It'll go away. Dwarves <laughs> <laughs> don't need ears. <laughs> All right. Which way are we going, guys? We still got a skeleton in front of Hingle. Oh, never mind. Excuse me. All right. Uh, two oh, defense. that would have been... Sorry. One more. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. The... yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, he defended against both of them, so... <laughs> Skeletons never live that long. Uh, are you going to move Hingle no, at all? Or you're just leaving? Uh, no, he's just going to stay there. All right. What about Jesus? All right. Uh, he won't be able to survive that. He only has two defense dice and one hit point anyway, so he is dead. All right. Uh, nothing for me to do at the moment. That brings us back to Ezra. Uh, Ezra, there is a trap right in front of you, uh, and then these rooms that haven't been searched, but no more monsters. Um, but hasn't already been. Oh. It's been yes. It's been uh, uh, triggered. Yeah. Okay. So I. There's no use to disarm it because it's already taken away disarm. Yeah, you can't. You can step over it, like to go into the other room. But these two rooms haven't been searched, and then there's the two doors, of course. That you guys haven't checked yet. Okay, I'm gonna go to this door and open it. Okay. All right. Inside are two more zombies and another mummy and a bookcase. Right. <laughs> you still have your action. Yeah, you said the zombies were stronger? Uh, the mummy is stronger. It's mummy? So, yeah, it goes skeleton okay. zomb- for the regular, like, the, you know, first tier of undead. So skeletons are the weakest, and then zombies, and then mummies. Okay, I'm going to hit at the mummy with the crossbow. Okay. Uh, one skull, and he didn't defend against any, so that's one damage done to the mummy. He has one hit point uh, left, so all three of those guys okay. now have one hit point. Okay, that's the end of mine. Okay, back to Big D. Just gonna shoot the mummy. All right. Ugh, no damage. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Hingle. All right. Oops. Yeah, you gotta click on Hingle first. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, mad at me. I'm gonna yeah. go through these healing points super fast. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. It's probably a good idea that you brought that one. As uh, you see, Hingle step past you and fall head first down. Well, not head first, but uh, you know, down into a spike trap. Uh, immediately takes two points of damage for falling in the trap, and that is it for Hingle's turn. Nuts. <laughs> Why I didn't go into the room? <laughs> I think I think Fox has probably got a, a little little extra paranoia from the repeated traps you guys hit. Was that time time before last when uh, when? Uh, yeah, if we hit one night. after the other after the other after the other. Yep. Yeah, so oh, Hing- yeah, Hingle's still there. All right, so Jesus didn't uh, have enough. Uh, yeah, five spaces. Yeah, yep. Okay. All right then. Uh, the zombies, I mean, they don't really have much choice. They're just going to come out around Hingle here. Uh, <laughs> and he has two less defense dice because he's stuck in the spike trap. Uh, so they have two attack. Uh, two, this is this, this could go really bad really fast. He has three total defense after taking the two away from being the spike trap. Okay, he defended against both of those. That's good. Uh, two from these guy, or from this guy. Also two skulls. His defense. Two, okay, he's doing okay. Yeah. Got and, <laughs> uh, Mummy has three attack dice. Uh, all right, one skull and Hingle's three defense. One de- one defended. Yeah. That's <laughs> that, that's really impressive because he could have really died. Like just if they, if they rolled lucky, he would have died right there. All right, that's his turn. Okay, I'm gonna cross with the mummy again. Okay. Uh, Black shields of skulls, right? Mm-hmm. 
All right, mummy has four defense. Uh, none defended. That is it. He's dead. Yay! Good shot. Are you gonna move too, Fox? Are you staying there? Yeah, I'm gonna move here. You can. Okay. All right, that brings us to Big D. Or right. yeah, Big D. How many points down is Hingle? Hingle is right now at seven out of twelve. And you're at three out of six. You do usually the only the injured so far. I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna give him three. Okay. So that'll drop me down to six left. Alright. He is back up to ten hit points then. Alright, and no, I'm just gonna stay here. Alright. Uh, this is round six, by the way, guys. Oh. <laughs> We're not Sorry, here. Sorry, my bad this sense is... of direction. Mind no, no, no. This is pretty on par for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've really expected you guys to start taking the the poison damage. The, the fog, by the way, is supposed to be that you know if it if you guys die from the fog or you know you die while you're taking the fog, then you turn undead and your characters are gone. Um, and you know you, your gear, if, if nobody can come, like if nobody survives, then your gear would be stuck here too. So keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, that's what that's supposed to be. So, the, the, by the way, that's why everything in here is undead. You know, you came into this castle that is with this cursed fog thing. So, uh, no damage, Dungy. Yep. <laughs> Four fucking dice and no damage. <laughs> you can attack diagonally through the door. I guess it doesn't matter. You can jump over the trap now, anyways, because it's, it's yeah. already already triggered. Okay. In fact, I'll go ahead and I'll just remove them off, actually, so that they're not in the way anymore. There you go. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is not, not going for, for, real quickly. Uh, mm. All right, zombie attacking Jesus. Uh, two dice. Uh, one Skull G. All right, that's defended. Zombie attacking Hingle. Two dice. Uh, one, so roll for Hingle, which is five defense G. All right, also defended. That is it that you guys can see at the moment. Back to Ezra. Okay. So those two zombies are still there? Yeah, they're just inside the door, so. And I'm going to aim for the one on top. Okay. They both only have one hit point, so if you can if you can get through their defense here. All right, one skull, uh, one defended. No ah. damage done. Okay. They're tough. Yeah, these guys, as compared to the zombies, or the uh, uh, green skins, rather, they, they have high defense but low hit points. And I guess we'll just try to shoot the guy in front of Hingle. Okay. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. He's already standing in front of a zombie already. All right, two. Uh, three defense. None defended. He is dead. Is saying we're going to move also or just leave him where he is? Yeah, I'm actually just going to use that. Or, you saw yeah. yourself selected. Yeah, so one, two. Okay, well, that's as far as I can get because I can't stand on top of his. Yeah, so yep. He is going to wait there and block the door. Yep. I just moved Jesus back to where he was, too. Okay. Die. Alright, he's got three defense. Uh, one defended. Alright, he will try to attack uh, Jesus here with his two attack dice. Uh, one one Skull G. Alright, that's defended. No damage done. Back to Ezra. <laughs> this puts us at round eight, by the way, guys. This is the beginning uh -huh. of round eight. Three skulls. He cannot defend against that. He's only got one hit point. Oh, shit. Yeah, he can. He's got three defense. All right. He did not defend, though. He's dead. Yay. <laughs> All right. So this is the beginning of round eight, guys. Uh, that was still Fox's action. So, Fox, any movement? This door. Okay. And open it. Okay. There are five <laughs> skeletons and a zombie inside this room. We're going to die in this place. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, shit. There. I don't. 
Damn it. All right, so I don't want to spoil something, but you guys, amongst the three of you as players, amongst your actual characters, what I'm, I'll just say that it's not on Hingle, one of you guys has something in here that actually uh, has a significant uh, impact on this level, is how I'll say this. One of you guys has a special item that you picked up on a previous level that actually helps on this level. Um, so, Fox, you shot the other guy and then opened the door, so that's it for your turn, right? Yes. You don't want to keep moving? You don't want to keep moving? You're going to stay there? No, I'm going to stay here. Okay. All right. Is it the container of purple goo? It might be that container of purplish, the poison of uh, the poison, the potion rather that you picked up of the like thick purplish viscous fluid. Okay. Um, that's gonna be it for my turn. Sorry, okay. I hit You're fine. Back to Big D. All right. First, I'm gonna give myself two of those hit points. Okay. So that's uh, oh, six total left. used? Yes, yeah, so you have four left. Okay. We have five. And then let's see what we got. Not very far. <laughs> you can't even get through the door. Nope. Yeah. There's the hingles in the way. All right, hingle. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to, for my action, see if there's a secret door in this room. Uh, no secret doors in that room. Okay. Wait there out of the way then. And then. Up in there. So otherwise, it was well, going to beat up. Uh, so, oh. ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, uh, surprise, surprise. Fox kind of hinted at it that she kind of expected that that was going to be another one. And sure enough, uh, Jesus goes falling into a spike trap as well. Go ahead and remove two hit points, G. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the spike trap off just for simplicity's sake. But they actually, there's a new feature uh, in Foundry that you can do. Um, uh, tiles that will appear above or below people, so that you can actually just walk on shit without it getting in the way, which is kind of cool. I just haven't said I haven't tried messing with it yet. So, did you remove those? G? Yep. All right, that is it for your turn. Then that brings it to my guys, and they are surrounding um, <laughs> uh, down in the in the pit here, which you have two less defense dice for all these attacks. Although technically it can only be three at maximum anyway. So uh, first skeleton for two, uh, one skull G. So roll your defense minus two. All right, so one defended, no damage done. Uh, second one, uh, two skulls. Uh, you treat white shields as, no, you treat black shields as white shields or skulls yeah. as white shields? On defense as black shields. Okay, all right, so that's two defended then, so no damage done there either. Uh, last skeleton from the bottom there, no damage done. All right, that brings us back to Fox. Okay, I'm going to aim at the one below. Okay, the kind of greenish one there? Yeah. All right, three, and he's only got mm -hmm. two defense. Uh, one damage done. He did not defend against any, he's dead. Okay. That's it. All right, back to Big D. All right, let's see if we can get out of this room. Bye. All right. Three, and I'm just going to shoot the one straight ahead. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, one skull. All right, he's got two defense. None defended. He is dead. Ha. These are cleared away into the room, at least. Pingle. Swing at the skelly. Yeah. Uh, two. And he did not defend. He's dead. Back to Jesus. I need 
Two one. skulls, all right. And two defense. Not defended, he's dead. All right, back to my guys. I'm just going to move this over here so I don't have to keep doing that. There we go. All right, uh, first skull attacking Hingle. Two attack, uh, no damage. Zombie attacking Jesus for two. Uh, also, uh, one skull G. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't matter anyway, but I'm still in the pit, aren't I? Oh, so yeah, so we're doing three. But it yeah, matter. it doesn't matter. Yeah, so still one damage. <clears throat> Guess I shouldn't remove the pit until, you know, just as a reminder until after you're, you're actually out of it. All right, back to Eza, and this is now round 10, guys. So you are halfway to choking on this smoke and taking damage from that. Okay, I'm going to hit the zombie on top. The okay. uh, three, shit. All right, he's got three defense. Uh, none defended. He is dead. Yay. Fox um, barreling through the undeads. That's it for me. Okay. Big D. Jesus, that's low. Alright. Um, how many hit points do you have, Ben? Two. And you have a total of what? Five? Mm-hmm. Alright. That's max is five. Alright, let's give you another two. That'll leave me two. Thank you. And I'm just gonna stay right here. <laughs> okay. All right, back to Hingle Denji. Oh, I guess he ain't moving anywhere yet, anyway. Hey, nice roll, though. Yeah. All right, two skulls. Uh, one defendant still takes one damage. He is dead. All right, so that room is empty. You guys know we have to check for secret doors? Ben, check the green room for secret doors already. The one okay. Room. Yeah. So I'm just going to have uh, Sokka wait there, and I'm going to, on my actual turn, search for secret doors in this red room. Red did you room. did you apply the hit point spec yourself, G? She healed you for two. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, all right, so you're checking this room for secret doors? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, there is a secret door Sweet. on the western wall. Uh, change that to... Oh, well, you didn't open it yet, but let me change it to not secret. Uh, there we go. Just, now it looks like a regular... should look like a regular door to you on the western wall. Sweet. Alright. Oh, I... Remember, you did search for secret doors there, and had there been traps in either of those rooms that you hadn't searched for traps, then it would have triggered the trap as well, but there were not in those rooms. So, yeah. in the, yeah. And since, keep it, I mean, with time being more sensitive at the moment, of course, you know, that was probably smart. Just keep that in mind. All right. Um, shall I open it, guys, or do you want me to wait? Yeah, open it. Go. Okay. There's another door on the other side, as well as a zombie in the hallway. Okay. Just one zombie. And that was your action, so you can you can still move the rest of your way. Yeah. You're moving if you want, of course, but... Just wait there, so I'm not locking the door. Okay. Back to Eza. Oh, actually, mm-hmm. I, no, it's my turn. I get to move my zombie here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is two attack against Ben. Uh, two, nothing, no damage, so back to Ezra. Okay. I'm gonna go here and then aim at the zone. Okay. Uh, two skulls, he has three defense. Three. It's three. All three, sorry. And he didn't defend any, he's dead. Yeah. He's not and getting a bite of, of Jesus today. Back to Big D. <laughs> With such low movement Four. scores, it's going to take you forever to get out of here anyway. Well, I might as well search for treasure while I'm here. <laughs> sure. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I was messing over the wrong thing. Uh, the torture rack in the corner has two blue potions that are larger than those you're used to seeing. Uh, let me find the item here for you real quick. The potions that you guys typically get, the uh, potions of healing are blue. These are uh, potions of greater healing. And you find two of them. Um, they're basically large enough for two doses is how they work. Uh, this is the thing I was mentioning, that there's kind of something to kind of help mitigate a little bit. 
um, in here. So basically, these will be available from the shop on the next, you know, from now on also. Uh, you have them in your inventory now. I'll, I'll go ahead and click one without consuming it for you so you guys can see them. But large bottle of bluish liquid, you can drink half of this potion at a time. Restore. It's basically the same. You just have two doses per potion. Nice. So that's four healing potions, essentially. Basically, if you guys start using those, or if you, you know, buy them or find them, then you can, you know, essentially each have two uses. Now, are we still, since they're bigger portions, can we only use, like, one half per thing? or can No, we use oh, you can use, you can carry one potion with you when you come in, remember? So you can carry one of those, which will have two doses in it, uh, you know, to the, to the level, if you want to. If you can afford them to, they are more expensive, of course. All right. All right, back to Hingle G. All right. Anything in the hallway, G? Any actions? Um, did you guys, or did you, you, no, you searched in that room. Okay, uh, search for traps in the hallway, then. Uh, no traps in the hallway. Okay. Alright, two, two Jesus. You just gotta remember to highlight which one you want to move at the time. Yeah. Two skeletons and two doors. Going to... Wait there. Not gonna move in? Okay, back to my guys then. Skeleton will pile into the doorway here to attack. Uh, no damage done. Other will move towards the door, but he can't actually attack diagonally, so that's it. Back to Ezra. Okay. Uh oh. They shouldn't get through, though. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, back to Big D. One. Oh, no, that's a wall there. I can't move from there. Oh, this is uh, turn 12, by the way, guys. Actually, standing right there, I can hit the skeleton, right? Yep. The one that's, that's right inside the doorway, yes. Yeah. So we'll do that. All right. Uh, with your longsword, he has two <laughs> defense. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to defend anyways. He only had one hit point, so he's dead. Woo. Back to Hingle. Hingle McFrangleberry. Five the has two two defense dice. He's dead. So there are two more doors in that room. Uh, and nothing for me to do that you guys can see at the moment. So back to Ezza. I put a an add-on on here that was supposed to automatically highlight the player whose active turn it is, but either I don't have it enabled or I changed something. Yeah, I'm going to go to there. Okay. Any actions? Uh, search for traps. Uh, let me grab my notes here real quick. If I can find the right mouse. Uh, this room does not have any traps. Okay. All right, back to Big D. Okay. Oof. One, two. I can't even make it to a door. <laughs> I guess we'll search for treasure. All right. Uh, no quest treasure in this room. Go and roll on the table for turn 13. There you go. They should get some treasure out of this level. Uh, by the way, this is this is level nine. The next one is the like character upgrades, where you guys are gonna have to pick a subclass and all that kind of shit. So it's also where the where the harder things come in, where I get my own uh, uh, special abilities that can impact how the level works and stuff like that, like closing doors behind you, that kind of thing. But 
That's of your turn, Becky. Whoops. Yep. Sorry. All right. Back to I Hingle. Start. I can make it. So. Okay. Go to the south and go to the west. Which way are we going, guys? South, I guess. Try it. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I picked a door full of bad shit <laughs> with no other doors in it. <laughs> so we're going this way. Now. All right. Uh, to the south, you see wide open hallways to the left and to the right, and no creatures that you can see. You do know that going east is the direction that you came from, but, you know, it just looks like a wide open hallway going that way, as far as you can tell. Sorry, I'm getting very annoyed from waiting there. Any actions? Yeah. He didn't do anything. Standing on the Oh, uh, they'll search for traps then. All right. You're right. Sees a spear trap ahead of regular yeah. spear trap, not the poison kind. All right. And that it for. Okay, back to Jesus then. Back to Ezra. Yeah. What you doing, Fox? Sorry. Twice. Was fine. Yeah. That's <laughs> fine. Five wouldn't matter anyways. Mm -hmm. We get past them if you're going that way. Uh, you yeah. do see there's a trap ahead though. So yeah, I was gonna try and go disarm it, but I can't. <laughs> It's up to you guys. I mean, keep in mind that, well, you know what? They could try jumping it, which would not trigger it. Yeah. And that way you guys don't waste a turn, you know, because you guys are on turn 14 now. So, up to you guys. Big D. Got myself. This is such a whistleable tune, even from a bad whistling. There's a spear trap right, right ahead of you, so you'll have to, if you have enough, you'll have to jump past it. I don't. That is exactly my movement. <laughs> okay. Um, Fox has to move on to the square to disarm it anyway. So actually, but but potentially, then you guys could be out of the way by, by then anyways, maybe. So, all right. What single do G? As long as he rolls at least uh, three, then he can try to jump it. Uh, find it here. Jump a trap. Assuming you wanted to jump the trap, G. Trying. Yep. All right. So roll one combat die, and you roll anything other than a white shield. Oh. Well, <laughs> he rolls, lands on the trap, triggering uh. it, uh, taking. He'll actually be back on that square. I just moved it over so I can get to the trap here. Uh, one body to point to damage and turn ends, and trap's broken. So Fox didn't get to disarm that one either. <laughs> uh, did you apply the damage here? Do you want me to? I didn't do it, but I will. Uh, okay. I'll get it. Okay. Right. Then that takes us back to Jesus. Just enough. Yeah. Right I'm going to search for traps again for the hell of it. All right. Uh, one at the end of the hallway there, another spear. Uh, nothing. Yeah, Damage to Hingle. Yep. Back to Ezra. All right, puppy. I accidentally rolled my my chair over Harold's foot. Well, not not over, but like squished his foot a little bit earlier. And I'm like nervous that he's gonna be because he, he likes to sleep right under my fucking chair, which is I don't I don't mind. You know, he's, it's it's you know it's fine, except that the chair will squish him because he's. You know, now I get great movement. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, you actually need quite a bit to be able to get to the trap anyway. So. Yeah, I'm gonna Okay. Uh, that's it. It was, I think, two black shields is the only negative one. So you disarm it and get the spare uh, spare parts. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and update the inventory. Uh, you do hear groaning from around the corner, Fox. Monster type groaning. Okay. Um. I guess I can't see it from here. Yeah, it's just it's just barely around the corner, just just okay. barely outside of your your visibility. So that's gonna be it for my turn then. Okay, back to Big D. 
Hey, now you're starting, guys are starting to roll well. On turn 15. <laughs> when the poison's gonna be choking. Zombie. Yeah, it's a zombie. Only has one hit point if you can get through his defense. Fine. <laughs> well, <Gotcha>. um. <laughs> Um, as you step forward, a another sphere jumps out, except this one is covered in a distinct greenish uh, uh, liquid. Um, and <laughs> you guys keep setting these off, Fox, never gets to disarm any. Um, if a roll two combat dice. Oh, God damn it! That the other one, the one that Hingle got hit by. I think that remember I did these wrong for a long time because I wasn't paying attention. Because uh, these these ones you can actually avoid. Uh, if a skull is rolled, you suffer one body point of damage and your turn ends, uh, and until the end of your next turn, you attack and defend with one less die. Okay. So you take one point of damage. Uh, but for the other Sphere Trap, Hingle, Ben, roll one combat die. Uh, for the regular Spheres... Let me, I'm gonna just look at the actor sheet for real quick here. There it is. Uh, that one is... Roll one combat die. If a skull is rolled, they suffer one body point and the turn ends. Uh, you did not roll a skull, so he did not take that one point of damage sheet. So I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and give it back. He's back at 10 now. Okay. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Which means, actually, his turn would have ended technically there either. So I, did, I gotta re try to remember that. I, can't, I, I was doing those wrong for the longest time. So I'm, at I'm least we caught it there. All right. Uh, but that one is now triggered. Um... Oh, sorry. I just moved. I moved you there too, Becky. So there you go. Uh, but your turn ended when the when you hit the trap. Either way, uh, so that is Hingle's turn. I don't think he has anything ranged, does he? Yeah. Don't think so. So I'll just sit there and block the hallway. Okay. Which also means that now as I can't get into the corner to shoot him. <laughs> Do you want to move him back? Do you want to take that back so that she can get over here and shoot? Yeah. He can't do anything in the corner, so... He's like, all right, I'll move yeah. Okay, and uh, I won't be able to do much either, so I'm just going to... There we go. I know I can roll at least one, so... Yeah. All right. It's my turn. All right, then I'm going to move my guy over here so this will stop moving the camera. Here we go. Well, not camera, but the panning, the view of the visibility here. All right, uh, zombie is going to attack Big D here for two. Uh, one skull, Becky. All right. And you roll with one less defense die right now. Yeah. All right, no hey. damage done. Back to Fox. Two skulls, he has three defense. Uh, two, two shields. You, no damage done. This one zombie's gonna block your guys' progress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Way to chew up all of your guys' turns trying to get out of this place. Back to Big D. It is turn 16, by the way. I think, yeah, you guys, if you mouse over the thing at the top, guys, the uh, carousel thing, it shows you in the top right corner, you see where the, just under the fist, where mm -hmm. it shows the, the number. That 16 there, that's what round it is, so you guys can see, you know, how many turns you are in. <laughs> Longsword has three? Yeah, three. Alright, two, and he has three defense. Uh, one defended, he takes one damage, he is dead. Okay, alright, I'm gonna crawl out of this thing and move. Okay. Well, this one wasn't a pit, this was just a spear trap, so you're, you're good anyways, but... God! <laughs> no! <sighs> Fox tried to warn you guys. She 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 sensed that this was going to be that kind of floor where there's going to be traps every few squares. And sure enough, well, I was you like, go... you know what? I'll just move four and then I'll stop and search for traps. <laughs> well, right yeah, I'm making myself cough from this fucking smoke. Um, don't worry, I don't have COVID. I, I never see humans, anyways. Uh, the two combat dice. If a skull is rolled, you suffer a body point. All right, <sighs> so you take one body point of damage, and then your defense is still, or attack and defense is still reduced. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just extra music to me because that's exactly what what uh, what Fox was insinuating earlier. All right, back to Hingle. All right, 
<laughs> this is just not your guys' day. Nope. Let's see if you can get out of here alive at least. Oh, all right. Well, that was smart because there's another sphere trap right ahead of you. Okay. Uh, like you can also just barely spaces, see. Yeah. What's that? Like every three or four spaces, it's been pretty even. They. I'll, I'll go ahead and point it. Yeah, exactly. Like what Ben just said does seem right. It seems like they've been pretty evenly spaced along this wall here. Uh, ben, you do see a zombie ahead of you, and you can okay. hear what sounds like another zombie around the corner as well. All right. Is that it for your turn? Yeah. All right, uh, zombie ahead of you is going to approach, and he has two attack dice, uh, one Skulgy. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, no, no defense, so take one damage, even with five fucking defense. Uh, that is it for the guys you could see, so back to Fox. Go for the one right in front. Okay. Uh, two against his three defense. Uh, none defended. He's dead. <laughs> and now you can see the spear trap behind him and another <laughs> zombie behind that. Okay. Big what D. Yep. So with. Oh, good question. Yeah, I can tell what you're going to ask, I assume, anyways. Yeah. Reduce left. it by one. Does your pistol still do one? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it, it can't go less than one, so yes. Okay. <laughs> as soon as you said question, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. I, I could see where you were going. I could tell immediately what the question was going to be. I mean, you never know. It could, like, backfire or something for a round. <laughs> yeah, you start taking, you take damage when you fire it instead. Uh, but no damage. Done. Uh, wait. Against chaos, right? Not against undeads? Yeah, yeah it has okay. to be chaos. Okay, yeah, no damage done then. Back to Hingle. I'm not cool like the rogue anymore where it's everything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ben, one of the class upgrades, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a little bit of advance notice for that because I didn't look over all of them, but I did look at Ben's earlier uh, because it's the first one on the list. But Ben's uh, character choices, one of them is a resurrection spell, but it's like it's a limited resurrection. It's, it's called lesser, lesser resurrection, I think. Uh, and the other one is that his uh, black shields count as uh, skulls for attacking as well as defending. So that is the other upgrade that Ben was talking about. So whichever you get to choose one of those, you don't get both. You can't even see Hingle, can you? Yeah, poor Hingle. Oh, <laughs> you can't. He's grayed out or blacked out. I can't see where he's at. Oh, because he's off the side. Okay. Yeah. One, he's two, done, so. three, four. Uh, he can make it to the trap. He can't get to the zombie. What do you want him to do? Um, he can stop in the square ahead of you, which would kind of block all of you unless uh, Big D or um, uh, Ezra shoot. So wait it out. you. So that way he's not in the way. Okay. Back to Jesus. Uh, I can't jump that because homeboy's in the yeah, way. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I guess I will just stand right there. Just tell him that he's lucky that spear's in my way. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. Uh, he can stand on them, so he will move into it <laughs> and attack you. <laughs> uh, they could walk on traps without triggering them. Monster scan. All right, uh, one skull G. Damn, I'm booster. Uh, well, no, no damage done. Ox, it is your turn. You guys want to take an intermission pretty soon? Yeah, we take a break here in a minute. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, as soon as Fox goes, we'll take a break because this is actually yeah. round eighteen. Oh, no. uh, two. He has three right. or three defense. Uh, no defended. He's dead. All right now, you guys can actually see the spear trap. Uh, all right, take a quick, quick five. Okay, guys. All right.
Just when I played a good bit of Mass Effect last week. We should play some more, all four of us here soon. Yeah, are you guys going to play any tomorrow night? Uh, let me ask him. I'm not sure what he's... Oh, yeah, I think they had some party or something like that. Uh, him and Leah. Uh, okay. I'll ask him uh, t today, not, uh, not tomorrow. Remind me, and I'll ask him in the morning what time. I mean, you would, you and Becky and I can play at least, um, and then yeah, you know, either way, we can do, yeah, like evening. But what, what I don't know, I'll be like <laughs> five or six. All right, something like that. I mean, I'll let you know tomorrow. But sure. Exactly. Yeah, let me, but yeah, let me know. Evening time. Yeah, let me know. You know what? When you know for sure? If I'll, I'll tell him around probably five or six uh, when I talk to him tomorrow. You back, Fox? Yep. Becky? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, then where we left off, it is your turn, Becky. Oh, all right. Um... There is a trap, you know, ahead of you, uh, but no, no other creatures that you can see at the moment. All right. Well, so you can move through and jump. Yeah. This is 18. Like, you guys are in the middle of the 18th round, so you have this round and one more, and then you start taking damage. Uh, anything other than a white shield, I think, yeah. was what it was. I just checked a little bit ago. Let me scroll up and find it. <clears throat> uh, anything other than a white shield, yeah. Cool. So you made it to the other side. Six, check for traps. All right. Um, no traps in your vicinity. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hingle's turn, G. All right. enough to jump as long as he doesn't roll a white shield. It's a 33% chance to roll a white shield, by the way, so keep that in mind. One? Yep. Or two? Nice. Just one. Alright, he made it. So you can continue normally. Uh, there is a door sure. there. Okay. So you can see a door there, and then... Yeah, that's, yeah basically, so, so the hallway continues on. But to the right, there's another door at the end of the hallway there. Uh, no traps in your vicinity there. Okay. Back to Jesus. That trap is still active, so Jesus will have to jump it as well. Or trigger it. Oh, was that... You have Hingle selected. Was that was that skull... Yeah, you just rolled that just now? Yeah. Right, yeah, so the second made, one was... Yeah, yeah you, you made it to the other side. That's fine. Yeah, you still had Hingle selected as well, so... All right, let's get in some trouble. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A mummy, three zombies, and a sarcophagus in the room. And another oh. door on the other side. That it for Jesus? Damn. Yeah, you still have your action. Jumping doesn't take your action, remember, so. Oh, yeah, huh. Okay. I, th I thought I did. I was just going to move in and get out of the way, but see if I can whack back the, the zombie. zombie bag. All right. Uh, three nice defense. Uh, no defended. He's dead. <laughs> One zombie down. But now you did free up the mummy to pile in and attack you. Bastard. So, uh, three attack dice. Uh, one Skull G. Alright, well that's well well enough defended. Other zombie attacking you is two. Uh, two. Well, he didn't do any damage. The other one's going to pile in. And that is it for the stuff you guys can see. All right, so as there is a trap straight ahead of you, obviously you can jump it if you want. You can take a turn to disarm it. Up to you. It is a, still a chance to... Oh, that's a disarm, I assume? Yeah. It's successfully mm -hmm. disarmed. Go ahead and update your your salvage parts. And you still have the rest of your movement, obviously. Uh, never mind. Disarming is your action. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. is, yeah, okay. Okay, then back to Big D. I guess we'll try to shoot because there's not one right th oh no there's yeah one there's there. a mummy right there yeah which is the stronger of them who are you shooting or who are you oh long sorting the, the mummy then okay yep all right but uh definitely. four defense no. yeah that's still it's two or potentially two he defended against one so he still did one damage he has one hit point left back to hingle all right He can't really get into the room at all. Unless you want to have him use his turn there in the hallway. True. Or go around to the north. You know what? Yeah, actually, it'll just wait there. Okay. Jesus. 
I told Sako you were playing him that uh, you would try not to get him killed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to hit the button. Uh, oh, three. All right, uh, four defense. Uh, well, three. <laughs> no, never mind. He didn't defend any. And <laughs> white shields don't do anything for him. Never mind. He's dead. Oh, sorry, it was my turn. <laughs> I was responding to a text there and I didn't realize it was my turn. Apologies. Uh, all right, Zombie is going to... Well, both of them are going to try to attack uh, Jesus for two attack dice each. Uh, one Skull G. All right, that's defended. Other one, no damage. All right, that is it for the guys you guys can see. Back to Eza. Are you counting squares, Fox? Yeah, I'm going to search for traps here. Okay. There's another spear trap right in straight ahead of you. Two squares, two squares away. You counted them okay. correctly, yeah. All right. Um, back to, yeah, Big D. Oh, the hidden zombie. Okay. Uh, three defense. Uh, none defended. He's dead. Yay. You can move in to the room if you want to. in there? Yep. Well, I can't okay. do anything. I already used my action. Oh, that's true. All right. Tingle G. Need to add some more combat tracks for this, too. These are all good, but it gets a repetitive one for playing for hours with the same, you know, five or six songs or whatever I have in there. I can you still see have... you. Sorry. I moved oh, down there. Gotcha. I can't because okay. he was shadowed out. Um, if, you, if you hold down control and then click him also and just leave them both selected, uh, never, that would cause problems for some other things. Never mind. If you Sorry. just drag a box, though, even like if you know the general area that he's in, just drag a box across the screen and it'll select ah. anything you have in there. So even if okay. it's black, you'll still find him that way. But anyways, right. go ahead. Try to hang on screen right there at the zombie. Okay. Uh, All right. That's... Uh, yeah, I mean, so yeah, he doesn't do anything with uh, white shields or black shields or anything, so uh, he didn't defend anything, he's still dead. Sweet. Alright, hey, Zeus. Alright, guys, should we go up the corridor or go through the door? Yeah, there's another door straight ahead of you. This room hasn't been searched or anything, but uh, there's a door straight ahead of you, and oh, shit. Well, this was turn 20. You guys were supposed to start taking damage now, but we're going to start it because well, we're already at the end of this turn anyway, so we'll just start it the next turn. You guys will be choking on the, the undead fog. Okay. So, go ahead and finish your turn, G. Yeah, we better all stay going the same way. You're going to go up the corridor? Okay. Don't want to get us separated and killed. <laughs> all right. Um, you guys killed my guys there, so nothing for me to do. Back to Eza. Okay, well, we should check the other door anyway, just in case, because we left a door back there, too. Yeah, what you guys are trying to find is the stairs. If you find the stairs yeah. and escape, you're good. Uh, Fox, you take one damage as you're breathing in the undead uh, fog. Okay. Everybody, Every turn from now on out, you guys are going to be taking one damage, so keep that in mind. And Fox, you do still have that blue, or that purplish potion. Keep that in mind. Right. Um, I have no idea what that does, though, right? How many, like, how many sips is there in there? It's just one. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that, that whoever drinks that is immune from the damage from the fog. You okay. can still die by other means, but you won't take damage from the fog, whoever drinks it. But there's only enough for one person to drink it. Ouch, okay. It, it drinks like a regular potion, though, so you can do it at any time. It's not going to heal you or anything, so if you take the damage, it's too late. But if you want to drink it before you take that far, if you're going to be the one to drink it, then you can do it now, and you wouldn't take any. Okay, who has the most health? Guys? Um, the most health? Probably. The lowest. Um, I think Ben and I are both at three. Okay. So I'm going to give it to one of them. Okay. 
Who? Flip a coin? Yeah, flip a coin. <laughs> Actually, big D, yeah, big D and Jesus can fight over it. <laughs> uh, give it to Ben. He's got better defense and stuff, so... Okay. Yeah, but it might be better if you have it because I could last longer in a fight against the undead and I can heal myself. I have a heal spell still. Uh, and I have who a picked up the healing, the greater oh. healing potions too? I did. Okay. So. so actually, so between just just to to kind of lay it all on the table there, uh, Jesus has healing spells to heal himself. Big D has uh, five total charges of healing potions on her right now because she had the potion that she brought and two graders that are each worth two charges. So five total healing potions, and essentially. Two health points still to give out. Oh yeah, and two yeah. So of the three of you, actually, Fox, you're you're the one that has the least. Uh, okay. ability to be able I'll to heal yourself, at least. Okay. Uh, I mean, actually, Hingle technically does too, but he has a lot more hit points. He has 10. And you guys okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely drink it then. All right, then go ahead and give that hit point back. We'll just assume that okay. you drink it before you uh, breathe in the fog. Uh, and then you can... Oh, that was you disarming the trap? That uh, yeah. black and white? Okay. All right, so that yeah. uh, trap is gone. Go ahead and update your salvage parts. Okay. And that brings us to Big D. All right, so are we checking this door? Uh, apply the damage. Do that at the, the very start of every turn. You guys have to, you know, do one damage to yourselves. I can do it for you if you want. I have a little add-on that makes it quick, but yeah. just remember to, to to increment it off, which brings you down to two, and that'll be at the start of your turn too, by the way. So, yeah. you know, you have to do that before you move or anything. So we're checking the door to make sure it's not stairs. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Oh, maybe. Why isn't it? Oh, hang on, I gotta move my map up this way. Well, oh, inside, <laughs> you see what is presumably the occupant of the sarcophagus. You're standing beside it as another enemy type you guys haven't seen yet. It is a vampire in the room there. Right. Doesn't look particularly startled, but does look potentially dangerous. And I still have my action. Okay. Um, Do you have any holy water bullets for that okay. pistol? <laughs> I am going to use a door spike. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> well, that's clever. That's a good <laughs> use for it. Uh, let's see. With this hammer and spike, a hero can use their action to close the door, preventing any monsters from being able to pass through it until the end of the DM's next turn. All right. So go ahead and close the door. We might need to get behind him on the go to that other door. For those. There is, yeah. Uh, big D. We'll get here, though. Yeah, Big D, you do see that there was another door on the other side. Fox, did you see that too? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there is another door on the other side. Uh, and as a, well, narratively, this isn't D&D. &D. This is treated as a board game. So so as a, you can see that the hallway that you're heading towards is going to turn right and presumably go to that other door. Okay. Uh, so, you know, there could be, you know, other things in the way, other obstructions. But you do see that the base, you know, if you were looking down at a cardboard sitting on a coffee table, you know, game board, you'd be able to see that that hallway would, would curve around and go to the other door. Okay. I'm just right. hoping it gives everyone enough time to get back here, because this guy's going to come out, you know, soon. Yeah, that door, they can, once you've, if you door spiked it, they can open that door afterwards. It's just, it's just mm -hmm. locked until, so this turn, my guys won't be able to do anything. Uh, ben, or, well, uh, apply the damage to Hingle, Ben, or I can do it for you oh, if you want. Yeah. McCringleberry. Hingle McCringleberry. You know, you guys know what that's from? What he took that name from? He, no. Didn't he post it up in the Discord? It was like a football draft fix or something like that? Yeah, it's from uh, Key and Peel. Remember that sketch show that they had oh, on Comedy Central? Okay. Yeah, they, they did this skit that was actually really fun. Like, there was, there was a lot of funny stuff on that show, actually, but uh, they did this skit that was making fun of... Uh, football players names how they all have well not all but a lot of them you know either choose stupid a lot of sports uh, sports players in general choose a stupid name for themselves or just you know maybe that is their actual name i don't know uh, a lot of them you know like shadows ocho cinco for example those are chosen names but pingo yeah. mccringleberry was one of the one of the names from that <laughs> nice uh what's jesus doing going to also move into that room oh my god i got it well, I'll do oh, the the, I move. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the is yeah, as long as you you know it would apply before any traps or anything of that sort, so it wouldn't matter in this case necessarily. But okay, since you're just going right back where you were. Uh, and the vampire is undead, of course, too. By the way, everything in this place is undead. So 
All right, uh, well, he can't open that door, and the other door hasn't been opened yet, so monsters can't open doors on their own. Tech well, these can't. There's a point at which they can't, or certain kinds can, rather, uh, but a vampire cannot. So uh, that is it for my turn. It is back to Ezra. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Get yourself max distance, but still able to shoot, maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy's potentially dangerous, too, so... Or I'm gonna stay right there. Uh, apply the damage. You're down to one hit point. I'm also going to heal myself for my last two, so... Okay. So you'll be at three? Yeah. All right, back to Hingle G. Okay. There, got the damage. And you really? Uh, I guess it was a ten. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. He's taking the smoke damage twice. All right. Oops. Oh. Fight this bastard. Okay. That way, everybody else can get in too. Sure. Four dice. All right, two skulls. He has four defense. Ah, uh, shit. None, de none defended. So two damage done. Sweet. All right. Off to a good start. Jesus. Apply your damage. Apply from the smoke, which brings you down to one. Yeah, he can sort of heal before you open the door. <laughs> You're gonna go right. in with one hit point and try to attack him? Mm, actually, no, because. Uh, actually, I can't do that because the. Um... Fog shit would kill me on the next round, and yep. I don't know if you can use a potion. I'd like you to can, yeah, you, from fog. yeah, you, you can, well, I mean, it's still the same. You can use it as you're dying, yeah. So, all right, well, fuck it. Then. All right, mm -hmm. that, that was my plan. If he killed me, <laughs> so I was just I might as well live. Well, on my concern is that because his turn's next, so if he kills you, you use your potion to heal yourself. You don't have one for the fog. You're dead on the next turn. Can, but I can give him one, right? Can I get Not if he's dying. He, you can only use the one you're carrying if you're dying. It takes your turn to heal someone yeah. else to give it to them. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I can mean, I give him a potion, though? Like, to hold on to? Um, the, with the rule we used for that is you can throw things to each other as long as they're within the same, like, trap distance. So the, you know, the two, two square radius. So I would say if you if you want to throw him one, as long as you get within that range on your turn, yes. If he dies before, then you know it's up to him. But <laughs> okay. just don't be surprised if you guys need all new characters next week, or well, next time we play Hero Quest, anyways. All right, uh, two skulls. Uh, yeah, that's just a Tay attack. So uh, he has four defense. Uh, one defended. He takes one damage. Not a bad start. You guys just have to stay alive. So. But if you're turn G? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. All right. Well, uh, on the vampire's turn, he is going to turn in this direction. And he happens to have multiple of these, but he is, because, uh, you know, you can, well, you can only cast him. He has three. He's going to cast Lightning Bolt straight through oh, no. <laughs> uh, Jesus and Big D. Uh, horizontal, vertical, or diagonal direction. Bolt will travel in a straight line until it strikes a wall or closed door. Two body points of damage to all heroes or monsters that stand in the path. Jesus, you are immediately brought to zero. I assume you'll drink your potion in, in so doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and roll for your potion, which is a single d6. Uh, Big D, you take two damage. I'm down to one. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll your d6 and, and apply that back, G. Right, so you're back to three hit points. And on top of that, as the bolt of electricity travels through the both of you, he did a total of four damage with it. Uh, you guys see the the blood that sprays out from the wounds. He immediately sucks it into through out of the air across the air into his mouth via exsanguination, healing himself for four hit points. 
which technically only took three, so he, but he's back to his full, which is eight. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what the special is for the vampire. <laughs> um, uh, you know, all, all the monsters from basically all the newer monsters from this point on have you know special things that make them a little you know trickier, but especially the undeads for that matter, like the ghosts that just fly through you and shit like that. At least Fox wasn't in that line. I mean, he couldn't heal past his maximum anyway, but any damage he does, he'll he'll be healing himself through. So, but can I hit him from here? Uh, you'd need to be back one more, and then you could get a kind of an odd okay, shot. There we go. Okay. Uh, two against his four defense. Uh, one defended, so one damage taken. He's down to seven. Yay. All right. Back to Big D. Right, so I automatically die at the start of my turn. So... Yep, so you'll have to drink your potion. All right, so a D6? Yeah. And the greater ones are just charged. They're just two sips of the same thing. They're all Oh, my God. Right, so you're back at one hit point again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Um. This could be in a TPK here if you guys can't damage it fast enough. I don't have. Shit. What do I want to do? I'm just gonna shoot. I don't. Yep. God damn it. Oh, no, no damage done. Alright. Then I'm moving over here, so I'm not in the line anymore. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fair. He doesn't have a lot of options. He's kind of locked in that box there. If you guys had opened the other door, he would have had maybe some other options. Well, he does have technically one, but... All right, uh, Hingle. Uh, two against his four defense. Uh, none defended, two damage done. So he's back down to five again. You gonna move him, G? Or leave Hingle where he is? Nope, gonna uh, leave him where he is. Alright, then back to Jesus. Boom. Die, motherfucker. This spell cleanses the foul magics that animate any undead or an undead enemy. When cast, choose an undead creature. You can see the creature must roll one combat die. Anything other than a black shield, it's destroyed. And roll a black shield takes one body point. So if he rolls a black shield, this is a, this is a big gamble here. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, he took one damage, and that spell is now gone. That would have been, like, they basically had a 16% chance of rolling a black shield. So, I mean, had that worked, that this would have been the, like, perfect time. Well, it really was the perfect time to use it anyway. They just had better luck than you guys. Oh shit. So much for that. That was a good try, G. Any movement? Uh, no. Alright, then it is his turn now. Uh, he is going to... Um, let's see... Oh, I didn't want to use that one right now. He is going to... Cast Command on Hingle. Uh, spell puts any one hero on the Dungeon Master's control. Uh, hero must immediately make an attack action uh, and or movement of the DM's choice and then roll one red die for each of their mind points. So first, he's going to step uh, downward and attack Jesus uh, with his three attack dice. Uh, one, one Skull G. All right, that is defended with almost... I mean, it's not an undead, technically, so or Hingle is, and he's being controlled by me. It's not undead. Uh, and then he rolls one red die for each of his mind points. Hingle has four mind. Oh, so he's got that. Damn it, I forgot he had that thing. Yeah, he's got the the thing that makes his uh, gives him better mind. So uh, any sixes roll will break it. So forty six. Uh, no sixes. Five, three, three, four. Yeah, no. So no sixes. He is still under under the vampire's control. That is it. Oh, actually, that's command. Yeah, his uh, command was his action. So no movement. Um, he's gonna move to here. <clears throat> um, shit, actually, he doesn't have great options for... Yeah, and never mind, he's gonna move to there. So he still has a line. <clears throat> and back to Ezza. Can I still hit it from here? No. <laughs> to get a clean line on him, you're gonna have to be... You're gonna have to be in the... Yeah. 
All right, two skulls. Three. Three. Oh, that's three. three. Okay. All right. Uh, against his four defense, uh, only one defended. So he's down two hit. Uh, shit. Probably should have used that to fucking heal himself because he didn't take any damage. That. Uh. No, Ben, you defended against it. Yeah, so no damage was done. Yeah. Never mind. So he couldn't use Exsanguination that turn. All right, so he's down to two hit points. Shoot. So if you if you can kill him before his turn comes back, he won't be able to heal. Turn mm -hmm. Uh, hang on. Oh, uh, Ben, did you remember to damage yourself? You didn't no, damage did Hingler yourself. All right, go ahead and do that. Yeah. I'll take Hingler's ah. off. Go ahead and apply it to yourself. Okay. Got a five this time. All right, so you're back at five. Well, no, you're at, you're at five because you went to zero and then drank it, so. Yep. All right, so that was. That was your little extra seven. time. Seven and. Hmm, I don't want to hit. You know what? Hingle does more damage. I'm going to hit Hingle and knock him out of this shit. Sure, there you go. Well, not, not with that, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right. I tried. All right. Uh, it is Hingle's turn, uh, and now on his turn, he's going to swing and hit Seuss here again. Uh, three attack. Uh, one Skull G. Oh, damage done. Ooh. And with the one point of damage taken, uh, you see the vampire suck the blood in. He is healed for one hit point. And that is it for Hingle's turn. He's not moving. So back to Jesus. Ben, you're down to two. Oh, uh, smoke. So you take one. Huh. You know, that's interesting. I don't think the smoke would break him out of it because he didn't take. I have to apply the smoke damage too. Um, so he's down to six. Uh, Hingle's down to six hit points. Uh, ben, did you apply the smoke for this turn right now? There. All right. All right. So I'm going to have to use my turn to heal myself then so I don't dare. Uh, roll one combat die, see how much healing you get. This is the one you can spread around to, so you can heal, you know, both, both Hingle and uh, Big Deer or have some damage still, so. Skull's just three points, so. I'm only down one, so I'm good. Yeah, Hingle's right. down at, Hingle's at half, but it's up to you if you want to, you know, you probably need a more on you yeah, than he sure. does. Yep, then that is it. Alright, so you're back to four then. Uh, the vampire from the, from where he is, as probably won't surprise anybody, is going to Lightning Bolt again. Uh, uh, two, but yeah, there's no roll or anything for this one, so it's two more, two damage to Jesus and two to Eza, and he heals for four, bringing him back to seven. We have no chance of defending against it? Nope, not against that one. Know. It's just a straight line. He, that, he has three total castings of it, and he's used two, so he only has one left. He still he has right you know he can physically attack too but those are, those are as far as his spell goes uh, and that is it for his turn so back to Ezza at least Ezza isn't taking the smoke damage so, so yeah your, your health isn't as bad uh, crossbow oh that's you shooting okay uh, two against his was it four defense there we go four uh, yeah four uh, none defended two damage so he's back down to five. Are you going to move, Fox? Yep. <laughs> if you're going to move one square, you could probably be pretty confident that you can't roll less than two, at least. So. Mm -hmm. Big D. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. All right, I'm just going to hit the vampire. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you rolled well. Uh, two defended, <laughs> one damage. Fuck bringing it. him down to four hit points. And let's see how much I get. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no opportunity tax or anything, so. I don't want to be in there no more. <laughs> All right. All right, back to Hingle. Hingle's going to swing and take oh, again. I gotta take my point off. Yep. Oh, so does actually Hingle has to take it too. Hingle is down to five hit points, and he is going to swing at Jesus. Uh, two skulls, G. Uh, he's not undead, so you take one damage. And the vampire sucks the blood in, healing himself for one, bringing him back to five. And that is it for Hingle's turn. Back to you, G. Alright. Um, 
vampires at five hit points. I'm gonna hit him with sunbeam. Okay. Sunbeam. You send out a beam of holy light in any direction. All creatures that caught in the beam suffer one body point and roll one combat die. Uh, and they add another body point of damage to any undead. So he rolls a white shield, or sorry, he has to roll one anyway. So it is, you got a skull, uh, one body point of damage, and two for being undead. So two damage to him, right? Yeah. All right, so he's down to three. Any movement, G? Nope. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. All right, then it comes back to him again. Uh, he's got a... Uh, he's going to he's, he's not going to waste his last uh, uh, whatever uh, lightning bolt so he's going to swing at Jesus uh, he has five attack dice uh, only rolled one one skull G <laughs> oh, oh. and you defended one skull you only had one hit point left uh, he is now where you have a clear shot again though as he moved forward to be able to, to hit Perfect. Jesus so you can hit him from there Sorry. without being risking all right. Oh, shit. That's three, two. Okay. All right. So he's got four defense. Uh, he only defended one. That means two damage to him. He has one hit point left. Okay. Oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, no, he didn't do any damage. Never mind. He, he hit Jesus, but, but, or attacked Jesus, but didn't do any damage to him. So he didn't heal anything there. Yeah. So he's got one hit point left. So I want to clarify before I decide what I'm doing. Okay. If I hit this guy and he doesn't die, and Ben does die, I cannot then shove a potion down to start, right? It takes your, yes, correct. It takes your turn to heal somebody else okay. using a potion, uh, which you can't do when they're dying anyway. You, you need to give him a potion, which doesn't take your action. You just have to be near enough to him, which you are. So I'm going to give him a health potion. <laughs> okay. My the, the regular, the regular potion? Yeah. So I've okay. used half of a greater, and I'm going to give him the regular. All right. So, Ben, you have one regular potion on you now, then. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. So, well, I guess you should be... Yeah, so thanks, for, thanks for her, not me. But <laughs> I'm going to take credit for it real quick. <laughs> All right. So, what are you doing with your with your action, then? Well, that is my action, isn't it? Giving it to him? But no, you can, you can just do that. Like, you do the same as picking up gear or anything like that. Oh. As, long as, you're, as long as you're within range, you can you can throw things to people and so on. Ben, you... Did you... You used your potion already, didn't you? I had my own that I used. Okay, you didn't delete it out of your inventory. Okay. Oh, well, the one yeah, you have, okay. that, you're fine. Just leave yeah, it. Yeah. That's that's the one that she gave you then. Yeah, okay. Jesus. All right. All right uh, that was your, your uh, long sword? Uh, yeah. All right, so four defense. Oh, come Two defended. On. No damage done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is getting down to the wire here, guys. Uh, Big D, did you take the damage from the smoke? Yeah. All right, so Hingle takes one point of damage and is going to swing at Jesus, who's in awful shape. Uh, three attack dice. Yeah, because Ben's not undead, so it's just three attack. All right, that is defended, uh, because there's only one skull, so no damage done. Hingle is very ineffective at hitting his own friends, apparently. Yeah, really impressed. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, <laughs> back to Yep. Oh, yeah, that's okay. All right, so you got to go ahead and drink your potion then. So delete it, but go ahead and roll it, because you, you, you know, we'll probably get more than a one. All right, so you have three hit points again. Okay, and see if I can finish this dude off. Because I mean, if he does any damage this next turn, he's going to heal, and he's only got one hit point left. Come on! Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh shit! All right, four, uh. four defense dice. One. Oh. No damage done. Okay. All right, it is his turn. And he doesn't have a good, like, for a clear lightning bolt line. Uh, it would just do a flat. You know what? Here's the thing. If he swings and, and hits hard enough, he could heal for more. But the two is a the lightning bolt is a guaranteed heal. Um, because it's at least two points that he would heal back from using a lightning bolt. So he's going to lightning bolt uh, using his last one. So, Ben, you'll take two more damage for his last cast of lightning bolt even though it's kind of a waste to just cast it on a single person. You guys spread out, like, ideally, basically, in a way that, that he can't get two of you in a single shot, which is good. Uh, so you take two more damage from, from, or two damage from the lightning bolt, bring you back down to one again. Uh, he heals for two from the lightning bolt damage, bring you back to three. Um, 
And he is going to step back again to right there. That is it. Back to Ezra. <laughs> he rolled again to move one step. <laughs> Alright, one skull. Uh, let's see if he gets any defense here. Uh, none defended. Alright, so one one damage done. He's back down to two hit points now. Right, so I'm gonna give him a the other greater healing potion. Okay, the one that's full? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if the... We'll probably just, I'll, I'll probably, like, maybe put in parentheses the number of charges or something like that. I'll figure out a way to do it. I, I guess I could just handle it like charges on a magical item. That would make sense. Okay. Uh, I'll figure out a way to do it for, for later, though. Uh, all right, so, Ben, you now have, you're giving it to Ben, I assume? Yep. All right, so, Ben, you, you have a full greater potion, so you have two more charges of potion if you need to, essentially. All right. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> all right, four defense. None defended. Back down to one hit point, guys. All right. Ready for your turn? Yeah. Uh, All right. Wait. Yeah. Three. Right in the doorway. The perfect I'll line. Just, I'll just <laughs> stay here. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't have any more lightning bolts, though. He did use his last one. So uh, yeah, I guess you guys don't I know do. that. But, well, g- game board mechanics, I would say that you do. That you do know that he doesn't have any more. All right. Fun. All right, uh, back to Hingle. Hingle is going to continue swinging Jesus with a single hit point left, right, Ben? Yeah, you have one hit point left. Uh, he actually, he takes, uh, Hingle takes another point of damage, so he's down to three. He, he could end up dying from smoke. Uh, he does have a potion. He has one. Uh, he would regain his senses, too, actually, if he takes any damage that isn't uh, from the smoke. But he's going to swing for three. Uh, one Skolji. All right, two shields, no damage done. That is it for Hingle's turn. Tell Sokka we have something to answer for next, next time he's, when he's back. Yeah. He's, he's ineffective at attacking you guys, but... You can't get around him, but you can get in front of him to block him at least if you want. Which Dungy? Deciding? Oh, oh that was your heal. Doing, that was your yeah, heal. I was using the potion and, you know, all that stuff. Well, gotcha. I guess I couldn't roll less than one, but either way. Yeah, I was thinking that too was movement, and he wouldn't have been able to get around him. You could get around him the other side oh, if you wanted, but uh, nothing, no damage done. Yeah. And it is his turn. So <laughs> he was backed out twice now, literally twice. You guys got him down to a single hit point, and then weren't able to kill him. And now he gets to attack and potentially get his uh, some of his health back. So five, he's going to just rake with his claws at Jesus. Uh, two skulls, G. No damage. All right. So he doesn't heal any. Meaning he's still at one hit point. All right, two uh, against four three. defense. That's three. Three. That's three. All right. Uh, no defended. Finally. He is dead. And on Yay. top of that, yeah. No, actually, it's what is the thing? How does that sleeping? It doesn't matter. He's dead anyways. Uh, I was gonna say he might have slept him too. I don't remember or stunned him. Uh, but he is finally dead. So uh, Fox is not taking smoke damage, obviously. But you guys still haven't found the stairs to get out of this place which you still have to find as you take smoke damage, so keep that in mind. That hallway, or that door does open back out into the same hallway that that it did curve around to that you were at earlier, Ezza. Okay. I'm gonna go here and then check for trap. Okay. Uh, No traps in that vicinity. Okay. Big D? Uh, Right. Let's take off this. I'm back down to one. Okay. This is really down to the wire because if you guys don't get lucky in finding what you need to find, you're you're gonna end up dying just from not having enough healing. Right. Over. Was there a sacred door or anything in the other room? You guys didn't, didn't look at. Does the hallway just curve this way? It doesn't go down the other way. Correct. It just goes south. It goes the direction you guys already came from. Oh well, then I would have. If I would have known that, I would have stayed in here. And ah, the okay. Doors. Sure. Uh, no secret doors in that room. All right, and then it is a secret door that you guys have to find. I'm just going to tell you that because otherwise you guys literally could TPK here. So I'm going to stay in this room and search this one. On you you search okay on your next turn. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, uh, you guys haven't dealt with Hingle yet, so he's going to attack. Uh, he's oh, still. Does spell doesn't <laughs> break after the vampire dies. Uh, it doesn't say anything about it. It doesn't huh. specify anything about it. So, um, you know what? They were, okay, I'm going to say, okay, 
the, the card doesn't say that it does. It doesn't say anything about it. In game, though, the the, the uh, in narrative rather, the the person who is affected by it is being controlled by the person by the creature that casted it. So if that creature is no longer there to give him commands, just just hand waving, it, I'm going to say that it does break uh, for simplicity's sake. The card doesn't say anything about it, and like by the rules as written, it should still be in effect until he takes damage. Uh, but I don't think that makes as much sense. I'm just going. I will go ahead and say that it does break. But it does take smoke damage, bringing it down to two hit points. So go ahead, Jerry. All right. Um, secret doors in this room. Sure enough, there is a secret door. Yeah, he will say the day. On the right wall here. Let me reveal it so you guys can see it as a regular door. There you go. Never should have even went in that room up there. <laughs> well, you didn't have any way to know. I mean, the, yeah. the, the, so you could have come in from the north, anyways, and you wouldn't have had any idea. Um, but the sarcophagus there was supposed, you know, that you could just assume that that was just general furniture, anyways. But that was his sarcophagus. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jesus, take your damage, obviously, from the smoke. We are at 28 now, so you guys have taken eight rounds. Well, seven rounds, actually, because we didn't start until the 21st, but seven rounds of smoke damage so far. All right. Yeah. Uh, in the room, you do see stairs, but you also see uh, six skeletons in there. Okay. Uh, did Hingle search? Hingle searched and found the door, right? Yeah, that was... Okay, okay so was, you still uh, have your action on Jesus, then? Yeah. Um, actually, Becky gave me that dagger. I'm going to throw it at that skeleton directly in front of me. Okay. Just one dice, right? Yep, just one die. Alright, Skull. He has two defense. Uh, none defended. He's dead. Ah, that's not good. Uh, the dagger is used when you do that, by the way. You can't... You know, they're, yeah. they're, they're gone when you use them, so... But um, they're... I mean, they're cheap. They're, they're... You know, they cost 25 gold, so... Now, we technically can make a run for the stairs, right? Or do we have you to can. fight all the enemies before we leave? No, you can't. You can make a run okay. for the stairs. Well, just a reminder, guys, in case we get beat up, because I think we're getting low on potions. We might uh, well, I mean, yeah. Catch. Big D is at one. She's going to die as soon as the as soon as the soon smoke goes off. Uh, yeah, Hingle Hing is at two, and you're at one. So, Yeah. Uh, be, I'd say. Well, I mean, here's the thing, Ben, though. Like, it, you, that that is true. All of that is true. I, I didn't want to, you know, I was answering your question accurately, uh, but it's the skeleton's turn, and they're now blocking oh, yeah, the doorway. Right after, yeah, yeah. I'll just push uh, him over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, skeleton blocking the doorway there first. Uh, two skulls, G. Oh, shit. Killed by a skeleton. Oh. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, white shield. If you, yeah, but it, the skulls are not... Uh, yeah, no, you, you can't shield. defend. Yeah, yeah, okay. Killed by a lowly, and it's a fucking cleric. You literally have extra defenses against undeads, and still killed by a skeleton. Yeah, go ahead and uh, yeah, drink. So you have, okay, yeah. so you're back at six, but you only have one charge left of healing, you know, for yourself. So um, the others are gonna pile around, but they can't actually get into the doorway, so it wouldn't really matter. Uh, so we'll just seconds. bring them around like this here. So I mean, if you can clear a way, you can still get through them anyways. Yeah. All right, back to Ezra. I'm going to attack from here. Okay. Uh, two. Uh, he's got two defense dice. Uh, none defended. He's dead. I'm going to say that it was the far one, because remember, you can't shoot uh, mm -hmm. right next to him, so it's the farther one. Uh, but he is dead. So still okay, one dead. Perfect. All right. Back to Big D. All right. Let's roll the last half of my greater potion. Yay! Back up to five. All right. That's going to last. That better be enough. <laughs> shoot. God, I hope so. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have a choice. I got to shoot. So one. Well, you can Yay. hit Agnum if you want to. But... Oh, I didn't even think about that. It's fine. Well, whatever. It's you already rolled. It's well, fine, so. yeah. I'll let I'll let you move and attack if you want to, because if that doesn't do it, he defends. He'll still be alive. He has two defense dice. He has a decent odd. Like, it's not huge, but he has a decent enough odds of rolling a single defense point. All right. Okay. 
right. Well, a little bit better. I mean, okay. you at least double, uh, trip. Yeah, double your odds. No, not cast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two defense. Uh, he did not defend. He's dead. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. That's it. All right. Then back to Hingle. Uh, one point G. He is down to a single hit point then. He'll make it. He's done. <laughs> All right. He has a health potion, right? Yeah. He does. Yeah, he has he one, does. He has has a one shot him. here, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sakura's like, whatever, man, don't fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't be able to make it out anyway, but you know what, actually? Uh, wait, one, I'm gonna two, stand three, right four, here. five. Yeah, you can get to the edge of the stairs. But if I stand right here, they can't block the doorway. Well, that one could get under Hingle, I guess, at least. But I'm going to whack the one directly in front of me and okay. stay here. All right. Uh, four, he two damage then. Uh, none defended, he's dead. Okay. Now they can't block us. <laughs> yep. Although it looks like we might be able to whack him anyway. But... All right, Jesus. Okay. Take your damage. I wasn't sure if this was going to really run into a time because it's the level is called Race Against Time. I was like, well, it doesn't seem like where's the Race Against Time really coming in? And that was, oh yeah, it's yeah. Like poison smoke. I wasn't sure how many turns it was really going to turn into because it's, it's radically different from one level to the next. But with us, you know it's going to take forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys actually, I mean, right from the outset, you guys, you, okay, normally you guys like are thorough and check every single room for every single thing and so <sighs> on. And this time you guys really, you know, tried to rush out the door as fast as you could right from the get-go, which is smart. Uh, yeah, no damage done, Jay. Uh, all right, for my guys, Skeleton's going to attack Jesus, two... Uh, no damage. And other one going to attack Hingle, who has a single hit point left. Uh, one skull. Then roll Hingle's defense is five. <laughs> Ooh, oh, shit. Oh. Hingle also killed by a skeleton. Oh, oh. Uh, go ahead and roll, roll his... I'll, I'll delete his health potion, but go ahead and roll a healing potion for him. Or roll a d6. Alright, so he's back at three hit points. I'll, I'll change his hit points for you. Alright, so he's back up to three. And... That brings us back to Ezra. You know, since Ezra isn't uh, taking damage from the smoke, she could just stay in here all night cleaning out the <laughs> cleaning out all the rooms for traps and treasures and shit. Although that there's is literally, true. No, I mean, there's a whole. You know what? Actually, once we're done, we'll, we'll probably finish up here shortly. Shortly, it looks like. But uh, so once we're done, I'm going to show you guys the areas of the map that you didn't go into. Um, because like this for sure would have been a TPK, no question about it. You would, there's no way you would have survived it. You, you guys were just taking way too much damage. Where are you mm -hmm. shooting, Fox? The closer one. Yeah, the closer one. All right, uh, two defense. Uh, one defended, no damage done. Uh, that's two. Oh, no, sorry, there, there's two. Yeah, right. still yeah, one yeah, here. All right, he is dead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, back to Big D. I'm just killing them. Yeah. Boxes are just, just carving really? through all you guys. And the fucking and the <laughs> vampire too. Fine. <laughs> you can't even get in through the door. <laughs> you could get you could Where move through the door, the door though. It's right there. Out. So you could move Where up and then go? attack. Yeah, you could still attack through the door to kill the other skeleton though. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh two defense. He's dead. Uh he, he only has one hit point, so he's dead. Uh take your damage from the smoke. Right. Uh Hingle now takes his damage from the smoke, bringing him back down to two. Uh, go ahead, Ben. What are you, what are you having him do? Uh, he is getting the hell out of here, hopefully. <laughs> he's going to roll two. And then he's going to... No, he can still get to the stairs anyway, diagonally, I guess. He can't move <laughs> diagonally, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, we'll get to the good yeah. thing I didn't roll two, then. All right, so uh, go yeah, ahead and move, to, move right. to... Stop, stop, stop right there. Hingle runs down the stairs, and then you hear a very loud, very annoyed curse uh, as he stops, the, the footsteps stop, and he turns around and comes right back up. These are these are fake. These aren't real stairs. No. Oh, we are so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for his turn. I mean, but, uh, technically, he still has an action. So, what are you gonna? Uh, he has an action actually. So, what do you want him to do, G? Mm, hell, search for traps just in case. All right, no traps in this room. Okay. Oops, sorry. It is still Jesus's turn. Go ahead, G. Has this room been searched for secret doors? Because that secret door was technically in the last room, right? It has not been searched for secret doors. I will do that, please. Uh, did you take your smoke damage? Oh, not yet. All right. 
we're gonna end up killing Hingle. Mm. <laughs> he gets there so fucking close, you have no idea. Uh, sure enough, though, as as Jesus is looking around, he finds another secret door in the northern wall. Okay. If you guys Yay. make it out of here, yeah. <laughs> Opening the door, you see another set of stairs. Um, Fuck these these look a little more real than the last ones. <laughs> They're not like painted on the floor, like on movie <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's an acne cartoon. <laughs> So you run into a cave entrance, it's really just painted on the wall by Wiley Coyote. If Sokka right. rolls a two, he's gonna fucking kill me, man. Or if I roll a, a two for Hingle, he's gonna yeah, fucking really. kill me. Alright, uh, as a, uh, you do know the door, the correct stair, the, the legitimate stairs are in the other room there. <laughs> That's close enough, that's in the stair room, so that counts. So as okay. it safely escapes, uh, Big D, take your smoke damage, and then see if you can roll enough to get into the room. <laughs> All right. As is in the doorway, so you do have to actually get into that red room for it to count. But I, I have a plan here. I have three hit points left. I'm All going right. to search for treasure in this room. Okay. We are uh, getting something out of this. Shit. Um, <laughs> <I'm dying. laughs> so so Sorry, that terrible. doesn't have it doesn't have quest treasure for that room. Uh, but go ahead and roll on the table. Random monster. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit, I made myself cough from the smoke. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hysterical. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I've got a plan, I've got three hit points left. <laughs> oh, that was fucking great. <laughs> well, uh, you, you take your damage, your turn is over. <laughs> Uh, yep. Now I've got, I've got to unlock that one because remember the bad things uh, uh, are still there. So uh, that is it for Big D. That brings us to Hingle. Uh, he has one hit point now. G. Yeah. Uh, I gotta never let me move him off of the stairs. Whoops. Yeah. Okay, so we've confirmed these are the real stairs. Yeah, those are the real um, stairs. But I'm not going into the stairs yet. Okay. I'm gonna go back and check some of the rooms. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, that's that's fair if that's what you want to do. Um, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, so so that's that you're gonna be by yourself, and I'm gonna tell you that you didn't skip empty rooms. You skipped rooms with a lot of like there's no way you guys would have survived even if it was the whole group, let alone just you by yourself. Oh no, I'm just gonna go check the room with the vampire I was in because I don't okay, think we checked sure. that one yep, for treasure yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. What did I do here? What can or I the gray room since oh, I, I got an arrow Sorry. shot. Yeah, yeah, in the, the gray room. room. Yeah, so okay. I'll just check these two. I'm not going okay. back to that other door. That's kind of insane. Okay. <laughs> that's that's well, okay. Fine. It technically I could sense. go back to the other rooms we opened, but I would not open the other door. So I just yeah. go back to that one room. So it'd be yeah. three rooms I'm checking. Now that you yeah, now that you know that you're not you know at risk from the smoke, that's fine. Um, all right, then uh, nothing for me to do at the moment. So back to Eza. Um, what we'll do, Fox, is so that you don't have to, you know, just, just roll to move, since you're, as long as you're only going to the rooms that you've already been in, essentially the safe rooms, or that you know, don't have monsters in them, uh, we can yeah. just roll. So go ahead and roll on the table for, for those. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll, I guess it'll be, what, three? Yeah, three rooms. So roll the table three times. Uh, I would search for traps in the other room, for other two rooms first. So I'll just there, do the two uh, traps here. Okay, in the rooms that you've been in, there are no traps, so that's fine. Um, just okay. we're, we're just going to hand wave that portion of it, assuming that you know Hingle Hingle made it safely. Big D is the only question mark still, uh, yeah. but you could still potentially, like Fox, especially with your bad luck, you could end up triggering those same hazards, like the arrows and shit like that too. Yeah. But you could still end up taking damage. So, uh, but mm -hmm. as far as the rooms don't have any traps, go ahead and roll on the table for the treasure. You have three potential up to three that you can roll if you wanted to. All right, potion of speed, a dagger, and oh, hey, all, all good. Nice. Cool. nice. That is that is very on Fox. Like she actually went really well. Like the whole night. Like none of yeah, the yeah, it's the traps weird. Are, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So go ahead and add those to your sheet, uh, Becky or Fox. Sorry, uh, Becky. You got to do your Yay. yeah. Okay. So you're just you're just running then. Okay. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> this shit. My plans all right. suck. <laughs> all right. Uh, then as you guys successfully make it out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you in Discord here uh, the the. Because, I mean, it's you, you guys, you know, you can't come back to this place anyway, so it doesn't hurt anything for you guys to see. I was down to one hit point, not two. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, here, I'll go ahead and share this real quick in Discord so you guys can see this is what you guys missed. Now, there is a lot of trades that you guys missed, but uh, you would not have survived it. There's just no way. So, look at that. I just dropped it in Discord there. There were there was another of the revenants that you would have had to fight. There was a wraith uh, and a skeleton and mummy. That's you. You probably could have survived that room, but you would have had to use some healing just to be able to kill the revenant. Remember, but where the treasure chests are, there was a banshee. Oh, jeez, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it would have started at five, remember, and then removed some for every uh, uh, I think it's skull you roll or whatever. So it, that, that that banshee probably would have killed you all. I think, um, especially with you know with Hingle having even at four. Probably not great, because he was already getting low from the poisons and stuff. So, anyways, there were other secret doors and treasures and shit had you gone through there, and you could see where the other secret door was to find it. Uh, Becky, you stood right in front of that other secret door and searched for traps in the hallway, and that's when I had said no. It's because There, there, there was actually another uh, uh, spike uh, poison spear that was just out of your range that was to the northwest that Fox ended up finding, but, yeah, you were actually standing right in front of the door when you said that, so... Anyway... <laughs> We all would have died if I had found that, so... <laughs> I had a sneeze coming on for, like, a solid couple of minutes since we were la <clears throat> laughing at, uh, at Becky getting hit by an arrow. Anyway, so, you guys successfully make it out, though. Uh, there isn't any quest reward, because, it, like, the... Yeah, there's nothing like, go back and get 200 gold or anything like that this time. It was just the treasure chest that you guys didn't pick up. Uh, there is an artifact thing that you guys didn't find. Um, I think I'll probably... I'll just move the artifact into the next... Uh, next level when you guys get there. But you guys did survive. You did make it out successfully, so... Barely. Uh, yeah, barely. <laughs> really, really close, but... Let me see if I can get the armory back up here. Well, we got a potion of speed and Jill, a box of jewels out of it. Yeah. Um, and, well, greater healing potion of speed kind of pretty much used them. Use them any, all, yeah. yeah. Is yeah. there any left? I think Ben has half of a potion. Yeah, I have a half. Okay. Yeah, let me update that on here for, for next time. Uh, you still have three that are in the chest, so if you guys need to pull any out of there. Oh, yeah, Becky, I didn't have you drop the, the other grater on. Oh, you deleted out of your inventory already, Becky, the grater? Yeah, I just deleted both of them because I had okay. already used mine, and I gave him the other one, so. All right. <sighs> then for simplicity's sake, I'll just say that that's a, a regular, because that's you know he's got one regular dose left of it. All right, so that's there then. Uh, anything you guys want to sell or, or uh, merchant? Uh, I'm going to sell the box of jewels and the eight salvage parts. Or, yeah, because I hadn't sold the ones last time. Okay. Uh, the box of jewels is 50 gold and salvages are 25 each. So that'll be 250 gold total for you. Okay. And you can just delete about it if you're inventory now the gold. You're going to keep the potion of speed? Yep. All right. I have a gem to sell. Uh, gem is, what, 35, I think? If you click on it. Uh, yeah, 35 gold. All right, so go ahead and delete that and add 35, so that brings you to 185, Becky. Ben, do you have anything you want to sell? No, I don't think I picked anything up. Okay. Uh, and Becky, you used one door spike. Did you already delete that out of your inventory? Yeah, I had two. Cool. Um, I'm going to steal a health potion from the thing. Sure. Just update the quantity. I had three, so if you guys need to grab any, go right ahead, but make sure you update the quantities. There were three in their total, so... Drag it over? Uh, I think you can... Yeah, I think you can just drag it over, um, or if you click the... Yeah. Oh, not 32. Two. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't click the buy thing. You can do loot... Uh, if you, okay, so the ones to the right, where it shows loot item or loot stack, do you see those? It's a, just, they look like little diamonds. Uh, maybe that's only oh. for the GM. No, nope, I see it. Loot yeah, stack. the little diamonds. The loot item, I think, will let you take just one. But it looks like there's only one left. Is that right? Or is, it, is that three the quantity? That three is the quantity. Okay, never mind. So it still shows three right now. Mm -hmm. uh, ben or Fox, are you guys taking any? Or do you, you, you okay? Oh, Ben, you have one still. Fox, do you still yeah. have yeah. yeah, I still have a potion. Okay. Uh, Hingle used his. Do you want him to have one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I give him back one. Okay. <laughs> then I will... Oh, well, I, I don't... Yeah, I don't own his... Well, I mean, I could, but here, I'll just drag one over, and I'll update. Becky, you took one, right? Yeah. All right, so quantity is back down to one, so there's only one left in the box now, one regular, and then I think each of you have one regular back on you now, so... All right. 
That is it. Okay, guys. Um, let's see. Next week uh, should be, uh, like I said, that they tried to reschedule for the 11th, but I don't think it's going to happen because uh, it was already booked up for, for Visa. So 